First, I'm so glad you're here because it's a brand new day and I want to begin telling you a brand new story. And how I do that with you is most importantly how you can tell your own. So I've spent decades now trying to sort through ideas and information and figuring out this basic question like what is most important and what is most valuable. And you know what I've learned many decades later is we all have a different story to tell. We all have a core audience that relates to us. We all have a purpose whether it's something that nobody will ever know about or whether everybody will know about. So I want to do my one question with you as I start us into this journaling process where we can really start to focus and identify who we are, why we're here, and what story do we really want to tell that, reflect, that reflects our strength and wisdom and not just a way to get more people to watch our videos or whatever version. So deep breath, we'll see you on the other side. podcast. You've already heard me talk about all of this, but it really sort of came to fruition when I was having this thought process about uh, how do I want to move forward? Because I have all this fabulous information that I would love to share, but there's just a fundamental issue that I have bumped up against for over 30 years. I bumped up in my own life, definitely bumped up when I was a social worker, bumped up when I tried to be nomadic, when I tried to work with different kinds of people in their off-grid, rural, nomad uh, lifestyles out of the big city, so to speak. And the recurring theme is really, it's an issue of responsibility. But if you say that word, you know, we all kind of tune out. But what I really mean by that is that you have to want to be responsible for something in order to care about it enough to actually take action. And so, you know, I've been rolling these ideas around and back and forward and all over the place. And the metaphor that I really want to move forward with is this idea of asking ourselves this one question. Do I have the desire and am I willing to make the decision to drive my own car? Now that may seem like stupid. Uh, if you're not driving yet, maybe you can't relate, but do you really want to be in charge of yourself? And the question really is to what degree, to what percentage, and that is the human experience. But as we age and we let go of a lot of the stuff out in the world that takes our time and our attention, you know, ideally we start to turn inward and start to ask these bigger and deep questions, which is what I've spent my whole life doing. But now, you know, as we age, we're kind of catching up to where I've been, and I really want to talk and share about that at a practical level, which means basic survival, because that's what the question I asked myself when I left on this nomadic journey was, what does it mean to truly survive? What are we responsible for as human for our own survival? Now, it's been a transformative process that I never in a hundred years anticipated would give me the kind of ideas and information that I've gotten that I haven't shared, but I hope to. And two, you know, when I was in the system and I was a social worker and I was a good compliant citizen, you know, two cars, a house, you know, a 401k, you know, doing all the things out in the world that were proper and right, and the losing it all, you know, all of this has just like really created a lot of questions for me. Like who, which world do I want to live in? And which car do I want to drive? Because there's all different kinds of cars and there's all different ways to drive. But there is a constant and a theme for everyone and every one. Uh, for everything and every one. And that's really what I want to focus on. And that first theme is making the decision that you want to take ownership of your experience, your life, your thinking, your beliefs, your health, your money, your basic core survival, your human experience in a physical world, your spiritual evolution in a spiritual uh, eternity. There's a lot to unpack when I say, do you really want to drive your own car? Because 
We'll never fully know how to do it 100%, but what I keep observing is that we keep coming back and having to recreate the wheel. We have cultural beliefs, but we've lost a lot of the practical information and the deeper truths that we are just now starting to remember and become aware of and put value in. So this is actually a very complex question when I ask it, but the first thing each of us must do, and this is why this is a journal question. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I also have this listed over at Substack with a whole set of journaling questions to ask yourself how to reflect on this idea more deeply is do I really want to make that decision to, and, and with a great desire to drive my own car? And it will be different for each of us to by degree and by understanding. But that's one of those spiritual decisions that transforms your life. I can't tell you what will happen, why it will happen, when it will happen, where you will go. I just know that when you make that decision within yourself, it's transformative. And so I want to talk about that one thing. Actually, we just talked about it. So I just want to share that one thing with you. And then if you really want to do in and dive in and do the work yourself, you're going to find the links below. But if you have a journaling practice, this is a perfect question to ask yourself. Do I want to take ownership of driving my car? Do I have the desire within me to really want to be the owner and driver of my own body, my own life, my own mind, my heart, and my spirit. And that means sometimes it's really uncomfortable. It also means it will transform your life in ways you can't imagine. So that's it. Deep breath. Links below. See you next time. <laughs>